Hi, bookish people. I'm so excited to talk to you guys right now because I just feel like there's so much I need to tell you. We'll make it short and sweet. Number one, I ordered a bookcase and it arrived just now. So there it is. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to build it in a few minutes. Okay, number two. I'm 105 pages into fourth wing. I feel kind of bad. Like, I feel like I've betrayed you because I haven't filmed anything for almost a week. I haven't really read much. It's Thursday. I started this on Sunday. I read 30 pages, but that took me, like, all evening. I had a raging headache, and I didn't really feel like reading, but I didn't feel like looking at a screen either. It was one of those headaches where you kind of can only stare up at the ceiling. Staring at the ceiling with um, but nevertheless, I did try to start this one. And then I didn't pick it up again till like last night. Well, chapter in my um. I'm on chapter nine. Yesterday, I flipped to the end to see how many pages this is. It's like 500. But I saw that the bonus content in this holiday edition that I own, it has a bonus chapter from Zayden's point of view of chapter nine, the chapter I'm about to read. So I'm excited. That makes me excited because it must be an important chapter, I guess. This book does not need to be explained. This is the most popular book of 2023 by a landslide. I know that Zayden and Violet are going to have a romance. It hasn't occurred yet. They really have only had like one or two interactions, but at the end of the last chapter I read, he has just volunteered to be her sparring opponent. So they're about to really get in each other's faces. <laughs> so I think this could be Start of something new. So far, it's really just been politics. There is a castle. Here it is. Yeah, it's just this like gruesome, brutal war college where they train people. Just to give you like a 30 second intro to this book, if you don't know what's going on, I honestly don't know. I just know that there's a romance in here. I don't know the actual plot line, but basically Violet is the daughter of like the president, the leader of the war college. All of Violet's family and siblings have been in the writer's quadrant, but she has has been training all her life to be a scribe to like record history basically she was born like very frail i guess she breaks very easily her mom has turned the tables on her and said you will be a writer and be bonded with a dragon because that's how our family does or you'll die trying so she's been forced all of a sudden zayden is like the leader of her wing which is like i don't know all the names are a little confusing to me there's like wings squadron section it's a little bit lost on me but all i know was that he's like in charge of her i guess the only thing is i'm reading this really slow and it's supposed to be like this super fast paced can't put it down book but i've had no problem putting it down <laughs> so that's the book i'm reading right now just to update you the third point that i wanted to chat about the tortured poets department is that what it's called? The new album that Miss Taylor Swift has announced when she accepted her Grammy. I don't really like award shows. They're always so cringy. I watched the whole thing just because I wanted to see if Taylor was going to announce Reputation Taylor's version and I truly believe that's what she was going to do. Instead, she said, I have a brand new album, 17 completely new songs for you guys. Just considering how much I talk about Taylor Swift in my channel, I just wanted to mention it, give it its own moment and say, how do you guys feel about this? I'm very excited. I heard it's like registered as a synth album to me is that like 1989 or 80s ish it's very jack antonoff yay okay i haven't digested the fact that i'm about to build a bookshelf a bookcase rather for context this is the only bookcase i own it's just a two-tiered hand-me-down that my brothers have had for like what's a 10 year amount of time decades for literally decades don't mind my slippers but it's very much overflowing i bought a bookshelf from urban outfitters two days ago somehow it has arrived i was wondering if you wanted to be my building partner or just keep me company if you don't mind i'm kind of scared <laughs> I needed to vacuum my carpet all of a sudden before I started this. So that's why the floor is a different pattern now. Okay, this is scary. Not too long at all. Why is this 24 pages shorter than the little book nook I made a few videos ago? This whole bookshelf is one sheet. If I did that, I can do anything. I truly believe that. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 
you in and this is what the actual shelves look like and there's five of them oh i'm very excited i think this will be simple it looks like almost all you do is just screw the shelves into the sides i got this because it was cheap all of my furniture almost is white i got all this stuff approximately 12 years ago when i was 12 now i much prefer natural wood is my favorite if i could but because i'm single and broke it doesn't really make sense and i still live at home i would buy like a whole new furniture set of just natural wood i just got this one because it has a white also so it won't look totally out of place because i'm not getting any other new furniture that was my reasoning and i don't know why i explained it but that's why i picked that bookshelf out of the hundreds that i looked at Here's the last piece. If you're wondering, this is what I got, by the way. I really want my B-reel to go off while I'm making this so my friends think that I'm strong and capable. Shuffle, Think Later by Tate McCray. This is the album I'm currently hyper fixated on. Got it like a good judgment. Look and This is my favorite one. Oh, wait. Not I'm sorry, I sorry that you ha 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 change my mind up. Kick 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 kisses to my exes. I'm a I'm a I'm a little dead. Long talks when I was on. I get a sense of you. All that I want is attention from you. Girl, but I know you will. I want myself. I go Actually be an addition to this book corner. Oh, it looks cute and cluttery in the camera. I honestly love a little bit of clutter. Does it feel like too much next to the bed? Like imagine I roll out of bed. I literally never get out on this side, so it wouldn't matter. How am I gonna pick which books to put on this? What do I do? Okay, from back here, I feel like that looks like it doesn't go there from this angle. So I think I'll put it back over there. Okay, guys, it's the next you. Ew, I saying okay guys, I didn't like it. I don't know why, but I didn't. It's the next day. It was really difficult to do this, but I wanted to wait till we had some daylight to put some books on the bookshelf and organize it. I'm already overwhelmed. It's gonna go from looking like I have too many books to not enough. <laughs> the first books I want to put on there, which I'm arguably most excited about, they're completely hidden. My stack of Cassandra Clare books. If you know, Cassandra Clare's paperbacks all line up to make one big picture on the spines. The spines are illustrated. Mine are hidden because I stacked them this way to save space. Also, I stored books in front of it. I love how the spines match. So I'm finally going to get to display that. And also, my Barnes pre-order came in the mail the other day. The last book in the Last Hours series by her. I had the first two right here, which I read. I'm really excited to read this one. Also scared because it's like 700 something pages, which will be the longest book I've read. It's going to continue the picture. First, I want to unbox it and put those on my shelf. Also, I moved my Taylor Swift poster right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is thick. Oh shoot, bro. Why is it an entire brick? So there's the spine. You can see the London clock tower. That's cool. Let's grab all of those. Okay, here they all are. The only thing, my first Cassandra Clare book I read is the original cover because I got a used bookstore and I was not aware. It's a little upsetting. How am I gonna organize this? Oh goodness, I don't know what to do. Should I just put it right here? This is like the coolest spine. So I fear, I feel, I fear these are the coolest spines I fear. I feel like I want it like right at eye level. I haven't taken the tag off of it yet. We'll do that. Do I need to dust this? Okay. Wait, this is scary. I feel like I need a bookend. This is the Infernal Devices series. Read this series if you haven't. It's my favorite.
It's my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Wait, would y'all put them flush with the end or in the middle? It's kind of wobbly. And then we have... Then we have all the last hour series. These are some of the prettiest covers in my humble opinion. And they're shiny. Here are those. I don't think it lines up with the Infernal Devices though. Cause they're different series, but the same world. This is like a prequel to the Mortal Instruments. Do you guys know if they all match? Cause they're all in London, right? No, Mortal Instruments is New York, I feel like. The two series don't line up, but is there one? Like, do they all? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I feel that I need to go find the edition that matches for that first one. They're so beautiful. So, fantasy is my favorite genre at the moment, as you might know. Oh, I don't think I want to put them there in an organizational way. My other bookcase, it's organized by genre, and then each genre is in author's last name, alphabetical order. I don't think I'm going to do that here. I think I'm just going to do what I think is prettiest, but I think I'll keep the genres together. I'm not going to alphabetize them. So I'm thinking... I want to put the Once Upon a Broken Heart series here, but like like this. I've seen a lot of pictures of bookshelves in my day in my bookstagram feed. I like how when there's like some up and down and then some stacked sideways. So I think I'm going to put those right here. Should we do it? I'm having so much fun. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. That look great next i know that i must display my one special edition book from aluma great study and drowning just in case you're new here and you haven't seen this don't see this do you guys actually see this i also implore you to read this book so oh how do i display this Guys, no one told me this was going to be so difficult. Literally, no one told me that. I also love when there's a book like this on top of a sideways stack. Do I do this? That might be too much for now. You know what I should do is just take out all my fantasy books and go from there. These are very important to be displayed as well. Powerless, Patty LaRue. Oh my gosh. I just remembered I have the original A Study and Drowning too, so I can like couple them. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Hobbit, A Study and Drowning. One for my enemy. That one's beautiful. Babel. Also, all my Percy Jackson. You already know. These are going full display. We also have the whole Throw on a Glass box set. This one, I'm not sure about displaying because this is going to take so much space up. Do you know what I mean? Okay, book stack here. Both of these I tabbed. Kind of fun to see. I don't know. I think I'm going to put the cool version of a study journey on top of the OG version, like so. Or I could do that and have the printed spine. Okay. Find rivals. Guys, that's all my favorite books. Oh, I love that I get to see them. The Twisted Crown. <laughs> I feel like it would be appropriate to put What the River Knows next to Divine Rivals because these two books are dedicated to the opposite authors because they're besties. Isn't that so cute? For their sake, they need to be next to each other. Um, maybe under here. Oh yeah, that's kind of fun. Powerless. Is anyone very bothered by the fact that there's no rhyme or reason for that? I'm so sorry. I only put the Hobbit here because I like when they're not all the same height next to each other. So I just snuck that between these two. That looks a little weird. I think I'm gonna switch just so there's not two horizontal stacks on top of each other. Jackson because these are all fantasy as well. I guess just down here. <laughs>
nightstand because every book I'm reading is on the nightstand. What do you think? Send your thoughts and prayers. Okay, what do I do with the other two shelves? It's gonna be weird now if those two aren't fantasy. I could do like a one little Emily Henry section, I think. This is tough. If tomorrow. Now I'm all giddy because my brothers FaceTimed me. He's on a trip in New York and he was on Cornelia Street. So he was showing me Taylor Swift's old apartment. Oh, I'll never lose you. Oh, I almost strictly stream only the live from Paris version, by the way. Oh my gosh. Shout out. He showed me the street sign and someone had put like a little plaque with lyrics from it on. So anyways, those are all the fantasy books I own. And now I'm just like questioning. I have two shelves left, but now I have all this extra room in my other bookshelf. I have to take a brief intermission to just sit and think in silence for a second. I'll come back. <laughs> I just had a thought. I also love when there are like little knickknacks on bookcases, not just books. I have this dollar section at Target. Heart candle. I feel like I could put this on Once Upon a Broken Heart. <gasps> right on the heart. Right on the heart. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's literally. Personally, I think that was a great choice. I might need to call my mom in for interior design eye. One moment, just lighting my candle. Okay, it's later. This literally took me the whole afternoon just to decide how to display these books. So I did consult my madre. And now the shelf is complete. You're currently sitting on the top shelf. Made an executive decision. It is gonna be all fantasy. It's all filled up except for one shelf. I'm inevitably gonna be buying more fantasy books. I have a whole chunk on my like internal TBR that would fill up more than that shelf easily. So not to worry about the empty shelf at all. Okay, do you want to see it? I think you do. Ah, here it is. Top shelf. We have plant journal and Bible. We have my light box, which says I would rather be reading. In my last vlog, I recently got this little set of taper candles and I put one right there. Second shelf. We have our Stephanie Garber Once Upon a Broken Heart series with the heart candle on top. And then all the Cassandra Clare. Third shelf. After I turned the camera off, I ended up actually organizing. First one was just like my favorites and a display shelf. Now this starts with young adult fantasy. In alphabetical order author's last name and then adult fantasy but then we break it up for a second just to have a study and drawing displayed and then i also just took this little mason jar and put all my tabs in it now this is where it doesn't make sense actually if it was truly in the genre order i just said throw in a glass box set would be right here and all this would be moved so it's like organized but only in little parts that i randomly chose to be organized and to make my favorite ones like catch the eye first i guess so in the last filled up shelf we have middle grade fantasy which is just the secret garden is this fantasy i don't know i haven't read it and then percy jackson series again doesn't make sense but then i just slid in between that and this giant box that i just put emily wilde and the hobbit in between girl i don't know i'm so glad oh let me turn my book nook off the batteries are dying but i'm so glad because i thought this was gonna be empty and i'm scared but this is just all the books i have left that aren't fantasy all of these non-fiction books were just stacked next to this on my floor now they have a place and then these two i want to get rid of and this one i just put that on my pango books <laughs> so yeah this is just organized exactly how it was but obviously it's just shifted a little bit so those are my two bookshelves the new one completely looks like it's about to fall over from this angle i'll show you mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my new book setup and i love it i had and still honestly do kind of a lot of empty wall space and i feel like my room just looked like a little bit sad <laughs> that makes me so happy because that takes up a good chunk and then this is now not empty anymore <gasps> it makes me love my room so much more already so <gasps> oops I thought I smelled something. That's my new bookcase. Thanks for tuning in to this segment. What do you guys think?